Maybe if we take away your voice, then you'll have no choice but to trust traditional media. George Soros has weaponized his vast wealth in support of US foreign policy for several decades. Following the collapse of the Soviet Union and later the unraveling of the socialist bloc in Eastern Europe, the Washington Post celebrates Soros as a member of a new network of over operators supporting pro-democracy activists and media operations in place of and alongside the CIA. Anyone that collaborates with the CIA is obviously a friend of democracy. Why? You only need to look at the CIA's activities in Latin and Central America and South America to see how seriously they take democracy. Having sponsored the activities of many thousands of pro-US activists abroad, Soros is teaming up on Good Information Inc. with Reid Hoffman, a fellow billionaire with his own track record of political meddling, to train the sites of information operations back on the United States. During the 2020 Democratic primary election, Hoffman bankrolled a dark money outfit called Acronym, also funded by Soros, which launched a dysfunctional digital vote counting system, Shadow App, that helped upend Bernie Sanders' apparent win in the Iowa caucus. By this, Reid Hoffman <laughs> himself has invested in Facebook. Hold on a minute. If you think that it's this place where bad information flows from and your main job is you want to create good information, don't invest in the thing that's creating all the bad information. Otherwise, what people might start to think is you don't care about good and bad information. You care about information that's favorable to you and making money. Spin out media outlets in swing states with seemingly local flavor, draw in unsuspecting audiences with clickbait articles, then mobilize readers ahead of elections with aggressive political content. Oh, you vicious bastards. That's exactly what you think they're doing. Do you worry about the right way to eat candy corn? Yeah, I do. I'm just a lovely guy to try to get through life eating candy corn. Right, good. Listen, only vote for these bunch of bastards, won't you? Well, you're going to vote for those guys. They think they know how to eat candy corn. But information is much more than another partisan op. It's a domestic echo of the aggressive information warfare operations that billionaire activists like Soros and mogul Pierre Omidyar have sponsored abroad, usually alongside US intelligence cutouts in the service of imperial goals. And this time, the target is the American public. Glenn Greenwald writes, Often what is meant by harmful speech that needs to be curtailed is the byproduct of highly ideological and political frameworks. We should not allow power-hungry schemes of political censorship to be rebranded as noble campaigns for public safety. We're going to have real debates about what is and what is not harmful content that must be banished from the internet under the penalty of criminal prosecution, then that should at very least be a collective judgment, not one dominated by a tiny handful of multi-billionaires who use their bottomless wealth in the dark to shape society to conform to their ideological preferences and other interests. Mo absolute last thing we should want or tolerate is for those same billionaires scheming to control the internet to eliminate the last vestige where dissent and free thought that is not subject to their oligarchical control.